Welcome to our channel. Meghan Markle's daring plan to win over Hollywood amid royal drama. Meghan Markle displayed a bold new look for a surprise appearance, a move that some royal watchers claim was part of a master plan to win over Hollywood. On Saturday, the Duchess of Sussex was a glamorous guest at the Children's Hospital Los Angeles 2024 Gala. The 43-year-old walked the red carpet solo as Prince Harry was absent at the event. The Duke of Sussex was in the African Kingdom of Lesotho this week. The mother of two recycled her plunging red Carolina Herrera gown, which she originally wore in 2021 when she and Harry attended the Salute to Freedom Gala honoring veterans in New York City. Meghan's ultimate aim seems to be to make herself relevant and to transform herself into American royalty who is admired and powerful, independent of her husband, psychotherapist Dr. Robe Ludwig told Fox News Digital. Whether this will be successful remains to be seen, as the public has not always been receptive to many aspects of her character and personality. Wearing red is a powerful boss lady color, she shared. It says, I'm here, I'm not hiding, and I'm ready to assume my position of power. Wearing red often symbolizes attraction, confidence, and empowerment. The red dress effect studies found that red enhances the male gaze and encourages men to find women wearing red more appealing. In fashion, red is also considered a power color that represents strength and determination. The hair is a throwback to her Hollywood actress days. It's all in sync with Meghan taking control of her life and doing things her way again. Meghan's appearance came shortly after a friend told People magazine that a twin-track approach is evolving for Duke and Duchess of Sussex as they take on individual projects. While Harry has been supporting his philanthropic passions both in New York City and in Africa, Meghan is gearing up to launch a new Netflix show and lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. The Duke and Duchess have now hit their stride as individuals, not just as a couple, an insider told the outlet. The Duke appears focused on his patronage work, and the Duchess focused on her entrepreneurial track. Several royal experts told Fox News Digital that the couple is now working individually to boost their brands. British royals expert Hilary Fordwich told Fox News Digital the Duchess in particular has been unpopular with the UK press since she and Harry decided to step back as senior royals in 2020. Sadly, she has squandered both the support of the British public, which greeted her with open arms and adoration, as well as the celebrity status she originally garnered in the US, Fordwich said. Ludwig claimed that Meghan is looking to revamp her image, especially in Hollywood where she's looking to expand her business empire. Meghan Markle seems to be constantly strategizing to achieve more, more fame, more power, more popularity, and more wealth, Ludwig explained. Her goal appears to be establishing herself as a global brand, aiming to be the most famous and influential woman in the room. However, she may have realized that being high-profile comes with its challenges. Fame can be a double-edged sword. While it can attract admiration, it can also invite criticism and disdain. The unconditional adoration she may have hoped for is not a given. She may be considering ways to reimagine her public persona, she said. Megan might be, curious to explore what happens when she steps out on her own. Kinsey Schofield, host of the Today for Daily podcast, pointed out to Fox News Digital that the mother of two has a long way to go before she wins over the public on both sides of the Atlantic. An unnamed source recently spoke to The Hollywood Reporter about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's staff, labeling Meghan a dictator in high heels who has reduced grown men to tears. Fox News Digital reached out to a spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It is understood that Josh Kettler, the couple's former chief of staff who left the position after three months in August, was hired on a trial basis. The decision to part ways was described as mutual, with both sides agreeing it wasn't the right fit. 
Several former and current staff members have since come forward to Us Weekly, defending the couple and their work ethic. I think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle seem incredibly lost when it comes to their purpose, but Harry comes off far more confident, Schofield claimed. There are a significant number of people that question Harry and Meghan's sincerity when they flipped a switch almost overnight from selling family secrets to showing up at charity events. It does not seem authentic. This strategy looks like a desperate attempt to get back into everyone's good graces. For a lot of royalists, it would be too little, too late.